Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I am bringing you to a beautiful place, Edam and this is also uh, close to Amsterdam where you can find uh, beautiful houses, so uh, cute traditional Dutch houses uh, and also at the same time you will also find the cheese market normally in the uh, spring and summer season unfortunately this time it's not yet open because it's just starting up the spring normally in summer I they told me in summertime it's um it's a lot of things happening here and this is a city known for the cheese so if you say if you see in your country Adam cheese it's originated on this place and if you go here as a tourist in Amsterdam with a tourist guide, definitely you will hear the name Henry Willig. And this is actually a founder of Adam Cheese. This is originated on this place. It's so still early in the morning and I grabbed the chance to sketch this place because I know it's going to be full with tourists later on, later end of the day. So I decided to do a sketch here in the morning. So let's go to Adam. And before that, I saw this beautiful, cute uh, museum here in Adam, in the center of Adam. So I thought, like, I'm going to visit this place first. And uh, it's actually full of a story about how the Adam founded and also with the cheese, things and everything. So I'm on the top of the building of the museum and we are seeing the place where we're going, that place. In that store, a Henry Willig store is actually a way to Adam uh, Square. So let's go. Let's see how, what we can find here. So actually, it's this this building is very nice to sketch, but I was really curious of what I can see more on the square. So I went to walk. I went further there, at the back of this uh, beautiful houses, and then I found this one, and I thought like yeah, maybe it's also nice to do this to sketch this place, and then I noticed that it's also um yeah actually a nice place to sketch, but. It, it's not really something that I s say like, okay, wow. So I went inside and maybe looking around the area, the Henry Willig ex cheese experience or the store of cheese. And I found this is very nice place here. But the thing is, if this one, for example, it's nice to sketch, but then it looks only like I'm sketching a cheese. So I decided not to do it. And then I started to get hungry and I decided to pick up some fish uh, and chips on, uh, on the other side of uh, the cheese store and then because I also bought, bought something there so I thought like you know what I have a shade here and maybe I can just sketch here and then I found this man he's a, he's a vendor of the flower vendor next to me so he's all curious also what I'm doing and trying to make a contact with me I contact but I was really busy with sketching but later on I just give him a smile and he just like what I'm doing so he said like you know you should show that to Henry Willig because he really gonna love that one and and then it's already one o'clock p.m and i realized that i'm lucky that i have that place this place to sketch because i noticed like every 20 minutes there's a group of tourists standing in front of the ch uh, ch uh, cheese store and make a photograph of the store and it's really blocking my place and imagine if i'm inside the store sketching it's not really a good idea to sketch you know i like to be in public sketching but that's just too much especially with tourists because they always like to see new nice things on their surroundings and make photographs of it it was very warm that day but i'm so happy with uh, the result of my sketch what i did here is actually first a rough, rough sketch with pencil and then later on i used my fountain pen with waterproof inked and uh, line outlining every details and also the forms the basic form of the sketch and then um with watercolor i, I use it very uh, very light so not too much no no heavy heavy pigment on it just one layers and then that's it and um the um the, uh, the background the blue sky is actually um wet on wet made so that's why it's very soft this year i found a nice tip for you guys for urban sketching if you're new for uh, on urban sketching you like to travel or you go to some vacation and you don't know what uh, what you're gonna sketch you don't have any inspiration try to visit a tourist store like this and you can find some postcard like this and from a postcard you can already have idea about composition and what are the corners of the place where you're gonna sketch so it's a great way to uh, inspire you to sketch urban sketching by it also is also supporting the locals 
So after my visit to Adam, it was in the afternoon. Actually, I have an appointment to meet up some herbs catcher from the Philippines there. And as, that's why I went to Amsterdam afterwards. And then I decided to go to Museum Plain because that's what we plan to uh, sketch. But uh, she di he didn't came because, I don't know, he forgot or something. Or he didn't have any enough time to meet up. So actually, it was a waste of time, waste of waiting there. But then I realized that like, instead of just wasting my time, there in the um, same plan why not just sketch the place so i decided to sketch a uh, right museum and also some people around the um, same plan so while i'm sketching this i decided to um, finish this uh, without any color and um, after that i decided to uh, roam around the area and take a rest i saw the people laying on the grass because it's very warm weather so I decided to take a rest there and then um, later on I decided to visit Sedelet Museum. Well, actually the reason why I'm in Amsterdam is to meet a friend. She's, he's from the Philippines and he would like to meet up with me and do urban sketching in Amsterdam. So that's the reason why I went to this place. But unfortunately he didn't show up and I don't know what happened to his schedule but I understand because he's just a tourist here. He want to grab everything he can to see all the nice things in Amsterdam. But I was just waiting there actually. So actually my whole day just waiting for his reply when he want to meet up. So the whole day was just waiting. But then instead of just waiting there for nothing, I decided to sketch Adam. I sketch uh, in Museum Plain and I watched people there. And at the same time visit, uh, visited also some museums. And I think it was a really great experience to just be alone and do nothing about school. Just sketching and it's also enjoyable. And I think it's still a successful day. At the end. I decided to uh, sketch on the fourth time and this is the result of my sketch and I thought like you know what you are tired stop don't do that don't do it to yourself I was really tired so I was actually deciding to go uh, meet up a friend to have a dinner there and which is really nice we eat Indian food and then I saw this video from my husband and he, sh he shared this video of my crazy dog playing on the grass I don't know what he's doing she's doing there and I find it so cute it's and then I just decided you know what I'm gonna finish this dinner with a friend Wait. and then I'm gonna go straight Duchen. to Central Station and let's go home. Wait. Wait. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this very quick videos. Coming up next is my uh, visit to uh, Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, where I also saw in my eyes close up the work of Vermeer. 27 works of Vermeer in one show. How cool is that? I'm so lucky. And I'm also going to show you all the sketches I made especially for this visit in Amsterdam. So please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you.